Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat pagi. Very good morning uh, to all uh, UM academics who are joining us today. We are in um, a very special session today by the library under our research track uh, webinars by ADEC. We have an um, important, important topic on um, beware of predatory publishers and journals. Most of us may not know enough about this. Yeah, Dr. Kasia with us now. We have Dr. Kasia Zakaria, the Chief Librarian of University of Malaya. And um, we look forward to listening from Dr. Kasia. What should we look at when we are preparing to pre uh, our manuscripts for journals? What are the considerations that we might not know of and uh, what the library has to offer and, and tips and advice about this important topic. So without further ado, I will pass the floor to Dr. Kasia. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Azhar. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi and very good morning to everyone here. Um, Yes, as, as a librarian, you know, we are very concerned about this uh, fake and scam predatory publishers. Huh? And thank you for ADEC for you know, inviting us librarians you know, to speak to uh, the, the audience, uh, whomever. Actually, you know, this is not like a one-off uh, session. We shouldn't be like talking to uh, one in another like once and for all. You know? We need to be keep reminding ourselves that... Um, Predatories, uh, predators are everywhere. You know? So uh, let me share my screen and let's uh, just uh, proceed to what we can uh, do today. Um, discussing about, uh, you know, uh, being aware of predatory publishers and journals. You know? Okay. Everyone can see my slides now. Yes, we can, Dr. Kasia. Okay. Um, I took this, uh, everything from the internet, actually. You know, uh, it's, it's all there. You know, whether sometimes I have to uh, uh, declare, sometimes I don't declare where I get. You know, so maybe some of it, later on, I need to uh, declare where I got the sources and if you need these uh, slides. But at the moment, we just go through and uh, see how uh, our understanding on this uh, topic. Okay, uh, the content today that I try to cover at least. Uh, so there are some definitions, some types of information. Uh, information can be resources. Uh, resources can be uh, publishers, uh, about publishers, about journals, about uh, publication, uh, about uh, knowledge pro produced by the, uh, by the community. You know, okay. It may not come from the university alone. Okay. Uh, and I will speak about uh, the rubrics of a journal evaluation and some sample of letters to authors from publishers, which uh, probabilities are high uh, on the fake. Uh, so you can see that, you know, the email uh, from them, you know, direct. And I got this email some, some of it, I got it on my own. Some of it, I took it from our, uh, our friends, uh, the, the researchers themselves uh, share with me. And last but not least, I will take also uh, into consideration uh, bills, uh, ideas, and, and what actually started. And in fact, that the word predatory came from him. Uh, uh, bills, uh, bills is a, uh, he is a librarian from New York. Okay. Okay, so some definition. This is not my, not, uh, you know, I just took this uh, from nature.com. And uh, there are eight things, uh, eight points that you can see from here directly, uh, the definition of predat predat predatory publishers. Uh. Predatory journals or publishers are entities that prioritize self-interest. So that is one. At the expense of scholarship and are characterized by false or misleading information. Two, deviation from best editorial, you know, three. And number four is publication practices, lack of transparency, and or the use of aggressive and indiscriminate solicitation practices. Uh, this 
from uh, uh, the first slide, you can see that, you know, that they are not uh, good people. You know, these publishers and predators are not good people. You know, they are, they are here or they are, they are living, you know, and uh, uh, us, uh, taking from our pockets, you know, our, uh, whether it's government or non-government, you know, private or non. So uh, our money, our time, and, you know, the most is our, um, our brain, you know, or whatever that we have done, uh, uh, our study, you know, our publications, our writings, you know. So they are taking everything. So um, based on yeah, uh, their self-interest, susah, yeah? uh, there are, there are, there are people like that, you know. So what we are going to talk today is try not to involve them. Yeah? We are these people, you know, we are trying to uh, not meet these people, you know, uh, by chance or not, not, uh, not by chance. So sometimes we are scammed, you know, uh, into this. So we are, we are, should be very careful not to go into this track, okay? So another definition of scholarly publisher, scholarly is a periodical that contain, uh, uh, contains articles written by experts. Uh. You are people of the experts. They, you are the expertise in your particular field of study. So whatever articles that intended to be read by other experts or students of the field should be published in a good journals, uh, not a, a fake or scam or uh, uh, predators, you know, military publisher or journals, okay? So uh, by understanding this point that you have, uh, you have put yourself, that you are the experts of a particular field of study, so you must try not to give this paper uh, read by other, other non-experts, you know, because uh, first thing first, you know, when you talk about scholarly publishers, scholarly publishers are, uh, you know, with a uh, peer reviewer. Without peer reviewer, reviewer you know, they are not uh, scholarly publishers. So, so when you send your papers in uh, to to be read, you know, or to be edited, or to be commented by by experts in the other in the same field or other field of studies, uh, you are an expert, but you are sending to the fake. They are not doing it, doing a good thing to your papers. And uh, you know, sometimes they they said that they have three or four uh, reviewers in their journals, but actually they do not have one, not even one uh, uh, peer reviewer. So thus, when you submitted your paper, uh, whatever is, uh, for example, you have, uh, well, you know, the findings, you know, the methodologies, the objective, you know, that is not good enough, but it's read by the others um, because you are publishing through this fake or scholarly uh, predatory publishers. Huh? That's why. Huh? So... There are many publishing models, you know. So we have goal open access model. This is for your knowledge only. Maybe I don't have, we don't have time to speak about all this, you know. But uh, there are a lot of movement that you need to understand and know, and you know, and uh, sometimes they, they, they also relate uh, open access model with uh, predators. Uh, not necessarily. So uh, I hope uh, you are not uh, saying that open access uh, journals equals to predators. Uh, not necessarily. I will, I will speak about it uh, later on. Okay. Uh, next is, uh, why I say it's a serial crisis. No? Uh, it's a crisis to all of us when we responded to these uh, predators. It's a crisis to all of us, to the, to the, to the, uh, public money that we spend for the articles or, or studies that we are doing. And later on, when we uh, write these reports or these uh, articles, we, uh, we were scammed or we were, you know, uh, we send it to the, the, the not supposed to be expert. They are not expert. Predators are not experts. So you lost a lot of uh, time there, you know, your, your money there, you know, your, your grants, your APCs, you know, all, all gone into these people, you know, and predators um, got from you, um, you know, the APCs, you know, and maybe later on, you know, whatever price uh, and cost that they will 
tell you to pay that. Uh, so you keep on paying, you know. We have stories, uh, you know, people uh, uh, pay uh, out of their pockets, you know, up to 3,000 US dollar or something like that. There are stories, you know. So, and this serial crisis, you know, uh, the, there are increasing number of scholarly journals published by the predators and non-predators. And I will share also, um, we have a um, company, yeah? this is a, a non-profit company, uh, Al, 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 Al Rich, yeah? U-L-R-I-C-H. This is a platform or a database, you know, that publish, uh, capture, you know, your ISBN or ISSN uh, and IS, uh, SBN, ISSN. Uh, and we, we know that, you know, uh, for about one whole year, there are about 300,000 publishers or titles are published every, every year, every, every day. So imagine, you know, it's not easy to see uh, these are, whether they are good or not, not good uh, publisher. So publishers responded by, you know, this crisis, you know, the prices of uh, scholarly journals increase by selling packages to libraries. Of course, libraries will buy because we need to uh, uh, cater to the, to support the, the community, the, the, um, the community of researchers you know, from the public or non-public uh, researchers. So when they uh, sell to us, publishers selling to us, uh, we, we are telling them, look, we can't buy each and every one of these journals. You know, we, we cannot, for example, index, we cannot keep on telling them we want to buy number one, number two, number three, and 100,000 of journals. So what they do, they package this. Uh, journals and they will sell it to a uh, library in terms of uh, uh, bundle, yeah? bundle uh, packages. Yeah? So they bundle. So sometimes in this bundle, you know, as I think you heard about uh, bundle clothing, yeah? sometimes when we buy the whole bundle, you know, we have the very good uh, product and also the really less good product. So in a bundle a package of journals, also you will get the same, uh, you know, type of um, predators uh, journals. You know, so we might uh, see some predators in that packages. You know, uh, sometimes uh, it's not intended to. You know, the publishers are not; uh, they could not see it uh, first because, for example, uh, the title of the journals. You know, so sometimes those mistakes. You know, from the publishers. But the publisher is, uh, of course, they will say that they are sorry. But uh, uh, the the user, uh, for user, for example, we uh, as a as a researcher, we have, uh, for example, send our papers to those uh, uh, fake or predators. Okay, so those are the crises. Okay, let me share with you today. There are three type of uh, information or resources. No? There are scholarly sources. Uh, number two is the trade sources. And number four is the popular sources. So if you see yourself, you are in the number four, yeah? And uh, 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 num number four is the first one, yeah? the blue one, yeah? the blue color, yeah? written by scholars. You are the scholars. You know, you are the lecturers, the professors, you know, people with, uh, as experts uh, in your field, you know. So these scholars uh, or uh, uh, scholarly sources, they have very little advertising. You know? So, for example, if you uh, open up your uh, uh, any journals from the scholarly sources, scholarly journals or scholarly publishers, they do not have uh, many uh, advertising. And the, the look is so serious. You know? The appearance is quite serious. For example, not, not many colors. You know? so, and, of course, it must be peer-reviewed by other scholars in the field. If you are in the field of medicine, for example, so the peer reviewers are also in the field of medicine. But uh, for trade sources, you know, it might not be edited you know, or peer reviewed uh, by, by these people, you know, written by practitioners. You know, the practitioners, for example, uh, practitioners are, for example, pharmacists. You know, pharma pharmacists are practitioners. Librarians are also practitioners. Engineers are practitioners. But uh, uh, they can write 
into these um, trade sources. Uh, they can publish into these trade sources and it might contain some advertisement targeted to the field and they have might have a bright color but edited but not but but not peer reviewed okay so the last but not least is the popular sources these are a lot you know uh, written by journalists by us in fact you know by uh, people who are not in the field you know for example i wanted to write about food for example food that i like to eat for example so i will submit this uh, 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 article uh, to this type of popular sources. So this is for general public. So there are general editors of publication uh, to review the articles, you know. So this is one uh, slide. Next is, uh, what is popular or scholarly publishers? So I have given some examples here. Uh, for example, in the field of uh, medical, you know, the subject coverage is medical. We have in the popular type of uh, um, publisher is uh, WebMD. The pro for the professionals is American Nurse Today and scholarly is the Western Journal of Nursing. So if you look into uh, uh, how you can uh, see that, for example, uh, what is Google, for example? Google is really very, very popular. It's really, really, uh, everyone call uh, you know, Google by Every day, you know, like for me, I will check into Google at least uh, three or four times a day, you know. So Google has two uh, uh, type of information. One is the popular one, the Google uh, search. Uh, the other one is the Google uh, scholarly uh, scholars. And they will put in uh, some, uh, um, there is a schema there, you know. So, for example, uh, what is scholarly uh, uh, Google uh, articles? You can see that it's not, uh, it's the same type. For example, compared, compared to the Google generally, they don't have, uh, for example, uh, reference. Yeah? So, these are the, the things that I like to share. And for library discovery tool, for example, if you are into the librarians, uh, if you, for example, you have a problem uh, and you have a librarian's friend, our, uh, our uh, discovery tools are uh, many. So we will give you, for example, one or two per day. And this discovery tool, uh, for example, EDS, you know, and Summon and things like that, uh, will give you uh, a lot of help you know, and uh, to find your uh, uh, non-predator journals. Okay? Okay, uh, this is some rubrics that I like to share. Perhaps later on you can, I can share this slide with you. Don't need to uh, read this, you know. There are some criteria, you know, for rubrics you know, of uh, journal evaluation and also publisher evaluation. If I may share uh, one of it, you know, uh, if you search the web, for example, the top uh, level of the slide, you can see that. The journal, a good journal is uh, within the top five entry or the first page of search result. For example, if you use a uh, Google search engine, so the journal that you search should be at the top five entries of the first page of the search result. So that is a good journal. Okay. But a fair journal is, uh, you know, it's not within the first five, uh, top five entries. Uh, and there are no, no scam alert postings, you know. It is a fair journal. But for the third one, a poor uh, journal uh, evaluation, when you search the journal, the titles is not in the first page of the search uh, results. And um, this is uh, it's, it's usually uh, right or correct, you know, when I try to do my search also when my I, our friends ask, for example, do you think this is a fake journal? And you put in that in the plus, for example, ABC journal plus a scam or predator. And of course, you will see there is a post, you know, about that journal. So be careful. Huh? If you see at least one post, uh, you know, telling that this journal is a predator or scam journal. So please do not uh, go to that journal. Okay. So you, you can just uh, ignore that. You yeah? Okay, that is one uh, evaluation uh, uh, criteria or ways uh, or rubric that you can see. Yeah? 
uh, one, yeah, for example. And for the publisher, evaluation is the same. When you search the publisher uh, in uh, any search engine, so the publisher is within the top five entries on the first page of search result, and there is no uh, scam alert posting. It is a good publisher. But it is not a good publisher if there is one or two alert uh, scam posting. Yeah? They say that, uh, for example, uh, this publisher has gone into this uh, type of uh, uh, publishing or, uh, or, or involving uh, or sometimes, you know, some retractions, uh, papers or some of their uh, journals are retracted. So you have to be very, very careful. Um, this is two points that I like to share. Uh, you can read further later on, or maybe you can ask question about this repeat later. Okay. Um, some some ways, you know, uh, these are some lists that I like to share with you. Uh, for example, uh, there are many um, ways that you can check uh, about predators. Yeah. Uh, the journal name, for example, uh, this journal name, they are, I, I can share a lot, you know, in fact, uh, Bill has shared with us, a lot of journals' name are the same, yeah? or almost the same. Uh, sometimes it's just that uh, it's, it's non-capital or uh, the original or the good uh, journal is in a capital letters, but the no good uh, or not so, um, I said, I will just say that it's a fake journal or publishers are not uh, using the same capital letters, for example. Okay, so this all this thing, you know, you need to uh, think carefully and be careful and be aware. Just like the word is aware, beware, be aware. All these points will lead in uh, you to these fake um, journals or publishers. Uh, for example, you know. There is no editorial board listed. No, there is not stated the business model, whether there is a, a open access, whether there is a not open access, and, and whether is, there is a peer reviewer or not. There are lots of these uh, points that you can uh, think of. You know, uh, this is more than this. I can, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just sharing a few of uh, some of the points. You know? And the journal is poorly designed and it's not. Uh, functional, for example, poor navigation. If it is on online, uh, I'm talking about. I think 99% of my uh, of my data or, or my sharing today is about uh, online um, uh, journals huh? or uh, electronic or digital uh, journal. So there are a lot of missing things in that. You know, sometimes the um, the grammar or the um, or the fact that you know. Uh, uh, it's just that there, there is not even uh, uh, the year. The year was not correct, you know. So, for example, this is twenty twenty one, and you can see that you know the 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 web uh, site or the you know uh, that page alone does it this did not give you any uh, any date or any year. So, so please, please yeah, and you look into this. Uh, uh, I will share one, one example of how this lady, you know, uh, uh, saw when, they, when she, she was invited to join or to submit a paper into this type of journal. Uh, she saw this, uh, you know, and she is aware, you know. And, uh, for example, the author fees. Uh, this is really, really scary. You know? why, why, I mean, uh, mention scary, uh, you know. They did not mention uh, that you have to pay. So uh, it looks like wow, you know, I'm 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 so good. Uh, I'm a so good uh, researcher or good uh, 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 author that you know this, this journal did not want me to pay. You know, so you you look so you you feel so uh, lucky. You know, you feel so lucky and so happy that that this journal invite you to submit your paper and did not state an author fees and you are so happy. And you submitted right away without thinking. Uh, this is really scary. And uh, when you wanted to say that, no, I do not want to submit, uh, there goes, you know, uh, some 
kind of quarreling, you know, that you ensued, uh, you know, day in, day out. And uh, sometimes, you know, it took years, you know, for certain author, you know, to um, uh, free themselves away from these uh, fake uh, journals or publishers. And there is no information about copyright. And copyright information is really important. We talk about journal indexing. And it's not indexed in any subject databases. For example, you can do your own checking. For example, they mention, oh, it's corpus index, okay? And whatever index uh, is there. You know, the last time we had the ERA index. Uh, we have the WOS index. Uh, they, they will tell you that, uh, you know, that this journal is indexed by all those three or top seven, top whatever indexer of the world, but actually is not. You can do your own checking. And this journal, you know, for example, you saw that page, it's not even a publishing five or, or, or could be less than uh, one or there is none, you know. There is no example for you to look into uh, a sample of uh, earlier articles. No? So this is really bad. And next is about the publisher evaluation. Uh, again, I mentioned just now uh, about there is no information about the publisher. You know, in, in fact, you know, when you check the address, uh, Google Map will give you that this is a uh, is a resident, not a pub, uh, not a business um, uh, entity, not a business address. So you know, uh, you can do that checking first. And please do that, you know, do all these things first before you submit or, you know, whatever, whether it's an uh, abstract or your article. Don't ever, ever uh, submit anything before you do all this checking, okay? So, I, uh, okay, uh, some of the top journals, I think uh, I just want to give some examples, you know. Sometimes when you check the uh, journals, you know, uh, you see that, uh, you will see the, uh, the, the titles, you know, the articles is so clear, you know? uh, and you can see comparatively with the predatory journals, and uh, I will give you some uh, names that, you know, for example, you know, uh, international journals of, you know, something-something, uh, and then uh, it doesn't show that what subject, you know, they are actually focusing for uh, top journals, uh, scholarly top journals, uh, for example, I shared here the top five uh, journals uh, in uh, 2020. You can see that all are Q1 and has a very high uh, Hirsch index. Uh, uh, and also you look, look into the title and you see it's exactly you know, uh, the subject that you wanted to read or know about. For example, it's economics, uh, quarterly journals of economics. And number five is nature reviews materials. So, so uh, it's, it's about materials. You know, and number four is about economics. So as a researcher, of course, you will try to find this type of titles before you submit your uh, articles uh, and uh, without knowing, you know, for example, uh, later on I will share what kind of titles you know, these fake journals uh, has, okay? And... Uh, I, I like to use this word, uh, trick, into publishing with predatory publishers. You know? Why are you trick? Uh, uh, there are a lot of ways uh, these people uh, from the um, predators or publisher, you know, sometimes they are, they are a lone ranger. You know? uh, there is one uh, journal that has one um, uh, editorial board and he is also the editor. He is also the peer reviewer. So imagine, you know, uh, if you are tricked into publishing this type of publishers, you know, you're, you are losing your paper to this um, uh, type of uh, publisher, you know, the predators. And according to one study, I can't remember uh, which study, but 60% article published in uh, predatory journals so receive no citation. Imagine how frustrate, uh, frustrated you are when there is, you do not receive any citations. For example, you know that, oh, I know, I have one conversation with uh, one uh, lecturer from APM. And this, uh, she's, she mentioned this to me. And when I check uh, the journal, 
and I check the title is the same, but the ISBN is not, sorry, ISSN is not the same. So it is a predator journal. And of course, she did not receive any citation, even though there is already a five-year period uh, following the publication. So new scholars from developing countries actually, actually, you know, we, we the Malaysians especially, and uh, the, uh, the G8 countries, you know, uh, Iran, Iraq, uh, Afghanistan, Pakistan, you know, and of course the Asian countries. You know, we are those uh, trick, you know, most, most, of us, most of us are tricked into publishing with predatory uh, publishers. So uh, that's why uh, for us, you know, uh, it's not easy to do studies, you know, we are given grants, for example, you know, 5,000 or less. It just is it's, it's a grant you know, given by our government or our universities. And imagine after you have done uh, writing uh, for maybe one or two years, you know, doing the study, and you have submitted or tricked into publishing with these predatory publishers. Imagine the frustration, eh? okay? What are the problems, you know, that will cost you, you know, for this uh, to, the, to the science and the society, you know? When there is a corruption of goal open access model and the staining of open access in general, you know, uh, of course you will see that, you know, people look at open access as a oh, no good model, you know. So uh, we are trying to have, for example, open access is, is cool, you know, I mean, it's good to, to the fact that, you know, uh, the author pays for the public publishing and uh, whomever, you know, the author, of course, uh, can be the institution or the person that support the, the research. You know? When you submit into this uh, open access in general, you know, the model, uh, of course, immediately uh, the public can read. And this is good, isn't it? For example, you, you found out something about COVID-19, for example, that, um, you know, uh, offer a new hope to the those that uh, has uh, you know has positive before you know so the, for the long COVID for example uh, for example you know uh, you see that when you have submitted into this open access and immediately the general public can read this of course it's really helpful for them you know that this is a good uh, research and uh, people are reading it and uh, however when uh, when you are submitting into this predatory and it's not edited, it's not pre-reviewed, and there is a corruption, you know, there is a, some sort of integrity problem there, right? So number two is possibility that, you know, uh, the increase of occur occurrence of research misconduct. For example, you know, for example, if I may uh, share this, you share your uh, abstract. You have three things in the abstract. You have the findings, you have the objective, and you have the methodology. When you share all this with the uh, predator or non-predator, for example, uh, people could see that, of course, uh, whether uh, the experts, of course, knows uh, whether it's a good uh, methodology, whether it's a good finding. But if there is a misconduct of all this related to this uh, finding objective, or um, methodology, the expert could see this immediately. However, because there is no peer reviewer done, you know, there is nothing done towards this. And this uh, study was published just like that. There is nobody knows that it is there is a misconduct or not, right? So there is a is is a is a problem, you know. To me, uh, it's really uh, disheartening to, to do this. You know, you are cheating. You are uh, tipu lah. You know, you just just tipu, just plain uh, robbery. You know, you are uh, daylight robbery. So, uh, what are the effects on the press, law, clinical medicine, and public policy? Of course, there is a lot. You know, the legal side, for example, the effect you know, uh, on the clinical medicine, for example, on the public policy. You know, there, there are a lot of things will affect uh, when you publish the product or the study that you have done, not with uh, a good publisher, but with a predator. Okay, next, what are the 
the thing is, this is a continuance of the previous slide. Most predatory publish do not know about digital preservation. And you imagine that, uh, for example, you have submitted your paper to uh, a predator, to a predator um, publisher or journal. So they are not doing digital preservation. Eh? For example, I mentioned just now, not even one or two, you know, the previous um, articles are shared. So who is doing the digital preservation? You know, so you would have to double check that. Because if you do not uh, have a digital preservation done uh, by this uh, publisher, meaning that uh, the writers or uh, other people who wanted to cite your paper later on could not find it. So that's why you could not get a uh, citation. Okay? That is bad, isn't it? Because if you write papers and people do not uh, uh, refer to your papers, do not uh, cite your papers. It's really, uh, I think, um, yeah, I will get frustrated, of course. Huh? And number five is uh, author-centric rather than reader-centric. You know, why? You know, you are talking about you yourself as um, uh, publishing a paper or you are happy. When you saw in, uh, for example, you uh, submit your paper and you check uh, and index it uh, using uh, Google a scholar, for example, uh, you see that, oh, I have published, uh, for example, 200 papers. But the reader could not see that, you know, because it's in a grey literature. People could not see it because there is no a good uh, a digital preservation. Um, you, you, the reader could not find it in any uh, platform, for example, or, or in any databases. So that is bad, isn't it? Number six is, uh, uh, you know, Actually, uh, goal open access favors hard sciences and it may hurt the arts and humanities fields. No? So if you are looking at uh, open access, uh, uh, goal open access, for example, you're looking at yourself, at uh, the, the, the publisher alone, the predator. It could be a predator or could be a publisher that almost towards the predatory uh, kind of publisher. So it hurts uh, the arts. No? Uh, that is one uh, problem. And scam conferences. Uh, imagine nowadays, you know, you have thousands and thousands of webinar online. So you attend those and you pay, for example, one uh, dollar, US dollar, two to 200 uh, conference per conference. Yeah? So you have paid those conferences and you have uh, uh, presented in those conferences, but that conferences did not... Um, have any uh, platform. So other users or other uh, conference, uh, other, other people could not cite you. And uh, some model work well with uh, some scholarly society. You know? So some scholarly society perhaps not have, for example, just now I mentioned about uh, the trade uh, sources. Yeah? So this could be a problem, you know, because uh, uh, this trade, uh, publishers also do not have uh, uh, digital preservation. So again, uh, you have to find a very good um, publisher, not a you know, semi-good publisher. Okay? So the rest is about spamming. Spamming is really, really prevalent. Yeah? Um, you get like uh, hundreds of uh, emails per day and you saw one um, invitation or two per day, you know? They are spamming, you know, they are sending uh, into your uh, emails no? um, all this invitation and saying that your, your, your articles is good, please, uh, uh, we are a good publisher, please uh, submit to us, you know. So all that kind of uh, invitation you will get. Yeah? Uh, number 10 is predatory journals threaten demarcation. Yeah? So, uh, of course, you know, I think you will see this. Uh, you, it threatens everything, actually, not only demarcation. Yeah? So publishing in a literary journal may stain your uh, is, is your uh, your future, you know, as a researcher, as a as a uh, professor. Huh? So that's why you know you must be very very careful with this uh, predators. Some other points are okay. Well, Google Scholar does not screen for quality. Okay, I just did mention just now that you you can see there is two type of uh, information from the Google site. The Google site says there is a Google, just anything under the sun, you know, billions and billions of 
uh, websites yeah, from the Google uh, and search engines. But the Google Scholar told you that, oh, it's a, it's a scholarly, it looks like, looks like scholarly, but they did not screen for quality. And uh, like its name, uh, Google Scholar says perhaps it shows some amount of scholarliness, but about what about quality? So that is why you have to go into Scopus or WOS uh, journals, you know, listed in those two, rather than going into search engine and check the scholarly, the Google Scholar, because in terms of quality, Google Scholar did not uh, screen for quality. And of course, there are more of that, you know, I think. Uh, okay, I like to break your mind, you know, talking about this predatory, you know, into the, uh, the reality. You know, we, the libraries uh, uh, in Malaysia, and was, of course, yeah, for UM Library, we have many, many training uh, for these databases. No? So please uh, engage with us. Now, these are some of our, some type of, or some uh, uh, kind of uh, invitation, you know, to check with us, you know, to tell, to tell you that, you know, we only um, train you to use uh, all these uh, you, I can see, if you can see here, you can read uh, BMC, for example, you know, from the Springer Nature. You can see there is a Cambridge there, Empire Online, IG Library. These are good publisher and good journals. Of course, Oxford and Raiba, you know, JAMA. So if you look into uh, our training information, that we, how we train people, we never could, I think we never never ever you know, propose you should be publishing into or with predatory journal. So please next time check with us, you know, so maybe you can email us, you know, yes, yeah, it takes some time for so maybe one or two days, you know, you can reply your email, you, know, you get replied. But uh, for you to understand that, you know, the librarians can be your good friends, you know, so please uh, be friendly with us or just email us or just WhatsApp us, okay? And for last year alone, we have 164 sessions, you know, the information skills done by the libraries and the librarians and also by our vendors or publishers, you know. Uh, 130 sessions were done online and there are 33 done by the publishers, 41 done by, uh, for example, like what I do today. And many more, you know, we have all the librarians involved with teaching and learning and telling you that please use the good publisher rather than going into the non-good non or not so good publisher. So there's a lot of things that uh, you can check here uh, from the, uh, the, the previous uh, recordings that you can uh, see and check and listen. You know? If you are not uh, happy with this, you can tell us that you know, it's not enough, maybe next year, uh, 2021, I think we can do, uh, 2022, uh, we can do uh, more of these sessions, uh, maybe one-to-one -one if you need to, okay? So I think it's, uh, all our librarians, you know, all of us, you know, 50 librarians in the UM libraries are ready, you know, to teach you or to, uh, you know, to uh, impart all this knowledge with you. So beware of that also, <laughs> okay? Okay, to all authors, uh, so again, I want to tell you that, you know, uh, uh, just beware, you know, don't, don't ever, uh, you know, uh, trick uh, into these predatory publishers, you know. Uh, so they are, they are fakes, you know, they are illegal, you know, so whatever words, uh, they, are, they are plain uh, robbers, you know, I think we shouldn't be entertaining them at all. So send to quality, honest, credible, legal, and quality publishers. And we have subscribed to 68,286 journal titles from the 37 online databases, which cost us around 9 to 10 million a year. So these are public money, your money, our money. So uh, again, you know, uh, be focused, be aware, not to trick no? or to be tricked into this uh, predatory publishers, okay? okay? Some of the tips that i like to share today, if I have the time, let me see the time now is 10.46. We should be stopping around about now, right? 
Okay, uh, I can give you one or two tips, you know, for example, you know, uh, the journal policies, you know, the indexing policies, you know. So, uh, what are those things, you know, for example, aim and scope, uh, are they appropriate for your research? These are the questions that you keep, have to keep on uh, telling yourself, keep reading. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it, uh, you know, equals to whatever that I want to, you know, um, get uh, at the end of the, for example, the, the people that wanted to cite me, for example, you know, are they, are they in the same journals, you know? So you need to be very uh, aware and very careful with that. You know? If it's appropriate, then it's good. So you need to do some discussion. If you are an early uh, 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 year researcher, you know, so for example, you are from, uh, from the postgraduates, uh, this is your first semester. So do some discussion with your supervisors, you know, your friends, uh, even with us, the librarians. You know? uh, what, what are the appropriate scope, for example, for your research? You know? So look into some articles. Does the research seem credible before you can uh, say that, oh, this is a good uh, research and I can cite this research, I can uh, send to this, uh, the same journals that this uh, article is uh, sent to? So these are... Uh, some questions you know, that you can ask. The editorial board. Are you uh, in the know of those uh, names that uh, in the field? For example, the experts of the field usually are invited to become the editorial board. So these people that, you know, I think Malaysians are uh, engineers and in uh, IEEE. You know, there are lots of uh, uh, engineers uh, are invited, you know, to become the editorial board in the IEEE journals, you know. So please check those names. Yeah? Uh, if you are uh, uh, friendly or you know you, you have their emails, you can just send them. You know uh, you, you can you can ask them. You know if they are your supervisor, uh, better still. You know so these supervisors will lead you to a good uh, publishers. You know? peer reviewer. Peer review is really really important for scholarly journals. You know. And this is not uh, done uh, well in the predatory uh, publisher or journal. The policy must clearly state that, you know, if you are challenging them legally, uh, you can say that you have put in your uh, uh, website that you are doing a good peer review, whether it's a, a, a double blind or, you know, it's a, you know nobody knows uh, who are the peer It's like, like really, really blunt, you know, that you do not know and understand who are your, the peer reviewers in the, in the, in, in the publishing uh, or in the publishers, among the publishers, among the journals, you know. So you have to look into this peer reviewer must be stated clearly in the uh, policy uh, of that journal or among the publishers. You know? Copyright for authors, how is it handled? Uh, sometimes they will tell you that uh, you will uh, get one copy, you know, of the uh, articles or you can share with other authors, for example. Uh, what are those things? You have to uh, ask them. And of course, publication fee. Are they clearly explained? For example, uh, the APC is cost, for example, 300 or, you know, US dollar or is it in euro or is it in a ringgit, a Malaysian ringgit, things like that. You must look into that. And it must be stated clearly. And open access policy, you know, is it clearly stated? Sometimes uh, when you wanted to index yourself, uh, for, for UM, I think uh, we are quite uh, happy with uh, whether it's a Q1 or 2 or, or 3, you know, uh, stated in the journal. But uh, UM uh, do not really... Uh, 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 not to, to say not bothered or not cared, if, even if it's a if it's an open access policy uh, journal. But uh, if it's an open policy, open access policy, perhaps you need to pay more than you know as a as author or as an institution. Yeah? So these are the things that are, uh, you know, how to assess a journal or a publisher, and for the indexing, um, consider checking yourself. Uh, Sometimes they tell you that, you know, the, the, the grammar mistakes, you know, the spelling mistake is very obvious. For example, uh, the spelling of Medline, uh, Medline, yeah, M-E-D-L-I-N-E. -E. Sometimes they put the M-E, D is small letter, L is small letter. You know, sometimes they will, you know, they just 
they just trick you, you know. You look at it, oh, Medline is good, but actually the the, the uh, capital or non-capital is very obvious there, you know, it's, it's not Medline is supposed to be spelled uh, correctly, M-E-D-L-I-N-E in capital letters. Huh? So, of course, uh, also for the Open Access Journal, there is a directory you can check. Uh, if you do not know how, you can email us how to, you know, check those uh, directory. Okay, there are more of that and I think I will stop here first and let you ask me any questions so that I can uh, see where actually, uh, where I, uh, you know, sometimes it's a long talk, you know, we don't understand what I'm talking about. So maybe uh, we stop a while. Okay. If you have any questions. <coughs> Thank you, Dr. Kasia. Uh, is there any questions from anyone? If we check the, I, I actually have one question. <clears throat> is it safe enough for us to publish, uh, to submit a paper to the journals that are listed on Web of Science or Scopus, the ones that are related to our, is that a good enough yes. Um, guide? Yes, the answer that's, is right. Okay. Okay. right. Yeah, because that's why we pay a lot to them, you know, the WOS and Scopus, you know, because we know that whatever happened, for example, uh, uh, we have one paper that is retracted. Huh? So uh, we asked the author whether you would like to, you know, uh, that paper to be, for example, uh, re reviewed, uh, review, so that you know you uh, you can you can tell that uh, it, because it's Scopus Index, you, know, so you can tell the publisher, please do this, uh, do 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 us a favor, you know, to give us. Um, uh, email, you know, whether this uh, we can do a resubmission or things like that. So that's why uh, you have to uh, go back to this uh, WOS and Scopus Index Journals. Okay, so thank, thank you so much, Dr. Kasia. Any, uh, any other questions from the audience? Assalamualaikum, Dr. Kasia. Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, sure, very clear. Okay, I'm Rudy from Faculty of Economics. Uh, I would like to ask something about open access and also subscription. So basically, we have two options to publish our articles. Uh, one is open access and also one is subscription. As you know, open access, we need to pay some uh, fees of uh, subscription fees. And uh, one of the issues, the cost is very high. Mm -hmm. And uh, But I do find that uh, what the most important and interesting about open access is the numbers of citation is very high, especially because everyone can open and read our articles. So what do you think about this one? Uh, is it, uh, what the best choice actually? Either we go for open access or for subscription. Thank you. Okay, thank you for that question, Dr. Rudy. Um, okay, um, we have been talking about this open access uh, publishing yeah, uh, for quite some time. Yeah? And the fact that uh, I think since 2012, you know, we've been uh, looking into this. And uh, we have um, actually uh, vouchers, you know, for, from the publisher to for researchers to publish in open access. However, um, for uh, UM, um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you have to ask your grant uh, uh, who give you grants. For example, FRGS, whether FRGS can um, uh, you know, pay for these uh, APCs yeah, for the open access. But as, as you mentioned, it's really good if we can publish uh, with a good open access journals or publishers because of the citations and of, of course uh, of the response. Yeah? And, and of course, I think as a human, uh, as, a, you know, um, as a human, you like to share whatever you have, a good product of your uh, findings and your methods uh, from your studies, you know, share uh, earlier. Uh, with other uh, experts eh, in, the, in your field. So you have to ask your uh, grant, uh, who give you grant, for example, uh, whether it's a European Commission. So I think most uh, uh, grants nowadays uh, offer you that. If it's a good uh, uh, study or a good product or a good uh, articles, I think um, this uh, uh, grant giver will give you uh, the opportunity to for you to publish in the open access publishing. Okay, thank you, Rata. If there is no other questions, I can um, 
can we share again? Um, all right. Okay. Uh, I I'm still with these tips. Uh, if uh, if I may. Uh, okay. Uh, there are a lot of tips actually. You know, in terms of rankings, in terms of publishers information. Uh, you know, uh, rankings, for example, you have to be aware of the metric, made up metrics. No? Uh, for example, you have the Simago Journal, uh, you know, uh, Google Page Rank, you know, these are the, all these uh, uh, rankings, you know, the metrics, you know, uh, and also, of course, the Scopus um, as a metric, Push Index as a metric, uh, Agent Value as metric, you know. Uh, so those are uh, uh, metrics that you have to look into. And the impact factor, yeah, calculated by dividing number of these are all the things that I think we need to look into. Uh, these points, yeah. I may not want to uh, deliberate further, but let me. Okay. Uh, I like to share this actually. Okay, I like to share this. You know, I got this uh, uh, sample of invitation to predatory journals and publishers. Okay. Uh, one uh, of these is sociology study. Yeah? I think sociology study is, uh, as, as its name sounds like good uh, journal, okay? And it has a, a then you can see the uh, ISSN, uh, print ISSN, you can see the online SSN, you know, and the frequency, everything is there, you know, it looks so uh, good, you know, it looks so uh, not uh, a predatory journal. Huh? Uh, however, you know, um, we get to be aware, okay? Why this journal are inviting you? Yeah? So, for example, the, uh, yeah, the, the call for papers. Huh? So, dear, for example, ABCD professor, uh, this is a sociology study, blah, 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 you publish in US, you know? So, we, when we check this, okay, this is what you can see. Uh, these are some of the findings that I could share with you. Huh? This one was uh, a paper, uh, uh, an email uh, in 2015, okay? 2015, I hope it's still uh, relevant because when I got this uh, email, you know, I was like, wow, you know, uh, I was starting to do my PhD then back in 2015. So when I saw this paper, you know, uh, th this invitation to publish, I was so happy, you know? So uh, I said, oh, wow, this is really good. But then, uh, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> as, as you go along and you, you read, uh, you know, the, the, the paper, you know, so uh, uh, the email, sorry. Uh, so, uh, for example, you mentioned there, yeah, meanwhile, our journal is one of the publishing partners for the post International Symposium of, uh, let me, cannot read this. Okay, sorry. Um, okay. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, a symposium on business and social sciences, which will be held in Hokkaido, Japan on July 2015. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I received the email today. It was uh, on 29 July 2015. So why are they speaking of this symposium as a future event? if it is already occurred on the 20th of July. So that kind of uh, information makes you think again, hey, really, yeah, this uh, something wrong with this email. Yeah? So you keep on reading, then you see that the email went on to give six instructions to authors and the first instruction caught my attention. Yeah? The standard publication fee in the journal is 60 US dollar per page. Imagine, yeah? per page, if you calculate uh, based on, for example, you have uh, 10 pages, yeah? 60 US dollar, you times that with uh, 10 pages. Yeah? So imagine that you have to, uh, uh, you know, to pay to the publisher uh, 600 yeah? US dollar per article, if your article is 10 pages. Yeah? So you keep on saying that, oh, are you thinking that, uh, I was thinking that back then, you know, I was thinking, oh, they are going to pay me the 60 per page because I am the one who's submitting my study, you know, my, my idea, my uh, methodology, you know, this is my paper, how come I have to pay them? So this kind of, you know, um, uh, discussion, you know, uh, 
in fact, I I spoke this to I, I shared this with my supervisor. Say, are you are you sure this is a good uh, 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 publisher? So she was asking me, my publisher asking, me, are you telling me that you are going to be paid? <laughs> oh, we have to pay them. So this question led me to you know, uh, I think I have to yes, on the second thought, you know. So I did not send this. Uh, my paper to these uh, journals, lah. Okay. So uh, about the email, huh? This is another point that you can I can share here. Uh, the email is Gmail, okay? Gmail.com. It's not a publisher uh, email. For example, it's not u um dot edu dot my. Yeah? It's Gmail.com. Okay, sociology two eight eight at Gmail dot com. So this is the one paying. Asking first, lah. He said people yeah. majority. I call him majority. He's like. Ask everyone, then you uh, can not be So this these are uh, three or four points that I have shared with you uh, shows that you know something is really wrong with this uh, publisher. And there are more, you know. So uh, for example, um, when you look into uh, the blogs, you know that uh, discredit uh, the the David uh, Publishing Company, which is the company that published the sociology study. You, you come across the you you have to have a lot of these uh, uh, people writing yeah, about the David uh, Publishing Company. So this is the thing that when you uh, uh, look into your email, you know you have to double check. You have to be aware. You have to discuss with your friends, you know, and of course with uh, with us, the librarians, you know. So just tell us. I got this email. Uh, this is whether it's a good for me to send send my papers or not. So we will check for you. And and uh, these are few points that actually, um, uh, we can say that it's a, a bait and switch publishing kind of model. Yeah, a new phase of academic fraud. You know, back then when I saw this, you know, I was not aware that, you know, uh, oh, you are so popular, one thing, you know, you, you just started your PhD journey, suddenly you have this David Publishing Company from USA, you know, inviting you to write a paper, uh, to submit your paper into their journal. So, you know, you feel so, uh, uh, you know, I mean, I was happy back then when I, when I was doing uh, the checking of the email, I was, uh, I, I become so skeptical and, you know, you become more, um, say, oh, this is something wrong. So, uh, of course, um, as I mentioned at the end of my uh, sharing there, you know, uh, while living in the academic environment, which implores us to publish or perish, you know, it's either you publish or you, you don't publish, that means you will perish in the academic environment. So I think uh, <laughs> back then when uh, I think uh, my 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 answer to this quote would rather you know I would rather perish without publishing with this dubious uh, publisher. You know? It really wastes our time. You know? So um, this is one type of uh, sample that I like to share. Uh, the second one is about uh, this uh, journal, yeah? International Journal of Research and Innovation in Social Sciences. Okay, I mentioned earlier on some tips, you know, that I have uh, said that the, the title itself sounds so long, you know, it's not a sexy style. It's sex, like the previous one was very sexy, sociology study, you know, two words only. Really, really uh, keep me like, wow, this is really good a journal, you know, a good publisher, you know, coming from USA. But uh, that when I double check the email, it's not a good uh, publisher, so I stopped sending. This is latest. Huh? This is quite uh, recent. Huh? October 10, 2021, I got this email. So uh, it has everything uh, the same, you know, the, the title is good, looks good. There is ISSN there. There is a digital object identifier, the DOI. Huh? There is the number there, you know. <laughs> so... Uh, and they make a they make a statement there. Yeah? International Journal of Research Innovation in Social Science is a scholarly, scientific e-journal that publishes papers in the field of social science, commerce, education, arts, management, and law. Imagine, yeah, my 
my study back then was about behavior of librarians uh, while supporting their um, their um, community of researchers. Uh. So, you know, it really fits, you know, uh, to my um, study, you know, there is a commercial aspect there, there is a social science aspect there, there is education, there is management, and there is a law, uh, you know, coverage. You know, it's so huge, you know, it's a, of course, it's a social science and uh, um, humanities, you know, combined together. So you, you, you look like, wow, this is good. So uh, then they have this email that uh, says, they think that we would like to invite you for the submission of your valuable research. Imagine, you know, you're so like, wow, this is good, good email. Eh? So authors should submit an electronic full paper in MS Word document. It's really, really good. Eh? And uh, it shows that, you know, uh, uh, shows that the publisher or the, the journal, you know, give a lot of thought, you know, that you are given a template, a good template, so that you can submit easily. But when I check this uh, title with, of course, yeah, uh, Bill's List, I still check with them, but uh, not necessarily Bill's List is uh, still a good uh, list, but uh, it's good to be uh, in the, uh, be aware. Yeah? So that's why I just check. So, the, you know, <laughs> Bill's List give you this, okay? Indexing page, for example, yeah? is full of so-called misleading metrics such as DRGI. So I said, what is this DRGI? <laughs> so DRGI, uh, I, I don't know what it means, you know. So actually it mentioned, uh, we, we should look like, like DOAJ, which is good, DOAJ, you know, the Directive of Open Access Journal. But when they put their mention PDOAJ, so actually PDOAJ or DOAJ, you know, it's so misleading, you know, suggesting that the link to the membership is, is good, but which is not the case, you know, PDOAG is not DOAG. So, yeah, when I keep reading, you know, then there is a prominently mentioned impact factors, lah, you know, all those, whatever impact factors in that, you know. Again and again, it was actually, you are looking at this no good signs, yeah. So, number four, you see that papers have no DOI, there is no submission to acceptance, acceptance date info. So, this journal shows too many warning signs. So, I said, oh, better avoid. So I mentioned this uh, to um, friends, you know, that don't ever, ever go near these uh, journals. Huh? So these are the things that I like you to be aware of, okay? Again, um, I like to rest, uh, not so saying that I'm resting my case here, that you shouldn't be, uh, you know, near you know, of these uh, predatory journals, no? Uh, as uh, Rudy asked just now, Rudy asked just now, the open access system is actually uh, abused yeah, by the uh, explosively increasing number of so-called journals, publishers, and other of them in the medical field. We are so afraid of you know the medical field actually is being attacked uh, you know by these uh, predatory uh, publishers, you know, and uh, and because of the cost of open access is so. Um, it's so bitten. So I think uh, better be careful not to send first to open access, you know, for your first papers. Uh, be careful not to send first. At least not uh, by your own. You have to double check. Huh? Uh, so uh, I mentioned again earlier on, you know, when people talk about open access, you know, because it's so uh, uh, rampant that people from the open access system, the, the predators, use open access system to uh, trick these uh, researchers to publish with them. So, uh, you know, uh, people say that, oh, open access, memang lah mahal, you know, it's expensive, you know. So, it's okay, I can pay, you know, for example. But actually, that open access is predators. Oh, so you uh, better not. I think uh, if you are early... Um, career researcher, please do not send your open, uh, your paper to open access yet. Yeah? So you can send, uh, be safe, send to Scopus lah, or any other uh, bibliographic major bibliographic databases, for example, PubMed, yeah? uh, Web of Science or Scopus. Yeah? So um, those are writings again. Um, okay, uh, 
you can choose if you have the subject, yeah, the actor orthopedica. Uh, this is a good uh, publisher. You can uh, submit there. But uh, you have to look into the subject uh, uh, coverage or scope of your paper before you publish into actor orthopedica. Okay. Uh, this is another uh, issues of uh, retracted papers and articles. Huh? Uh, I asked that question, yeah? retracted papers or articles equals to predators? Sometimes I uh, sound like, you know, sound like, you know, as a librarian, we do not want you to be tricked. That's why, you know, I will put heavier to, for example, any journals that has numbers of retracted papers or articles could be, could be, yeah? I'm not, I'm not saying, probability, probability is quite high or there is a percentage of them moving towards the predatory. So, uh, retracted papers, uh, as I mentioned earlier on, remember just now, if they are, if they are, they are good uh, publisher, they will double check. For example, my first paper, when I submitted to uh, a journal, I uh, can't remember what journal was that publisher, I, I sent 10 pages, you know, I got back almost 20 pages. You know, they will check and double, uh, they, they told me, uh, okay, Cassia, don't do this, do this, do this, do this, you know. For example, you know, so imagine you are so thankful to this publisher, you know, because they tell you how to write a good paper or good article. And, you know, these are the things that you should get, you know. Um, if you um, send to papers, uh, to send to publisher that has, for example, more than 10% rejected papers. So I assume, you know, I assume this probability is quite high that they are predators. So please do not send your papers. If you saw one paper is retracted. Uh, for example, for this centometry, okay, this is a good issue that I wanted to discuss because I know uh, the president of uh, uh, centometry, uh, Professor Sugumoto. Sugumoto. He, uh, she is uh, uh, respected uh, experts uh, in the field of centometry, bibliometrics. Uh. So uh, actually, she, she mentioned that, of course, you know, for this paper, actually this paper is very, very popular, you know? uh, predatory publishing in Scopus, because uh, the author, Masashek and Solek, is um, attempting to um, uh, something like uh, telling that you know, some uh, publishing in Scopus are uh, predatory. So, and of course, uh, Scopus took about uh, three weeks uh, uh, to, uh, to extract, to retract this article. Uh, and they have published another paper. Uh, Scopus have uh, defended that they are not a predatory uh, publishing and they uh, challenge uh, the method of this paper, you know, this uh, uh, paper published in uh, Centometry. But when I read through the papers, okay, if it's, uh, I would agree that this paper should not be retracted, but it should be checked and edited. And of course, there must, uh, for example, uh, you know, sedikit pembetulan lah, you know, sedikit pembetulan, you know, rather than uh, take it out uh, totally, you know. Uh, it looks like, it looks like, uh, I'm not so sure, there is uh, some sort of uh, fighting going on with this uh, kind of papers when you challenge the a big company like Scopus, you know, uh, so you have to be quite careful. Lah. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, sadly, you know, this, this article is retracted even though um, I am a librarian, you know, I do not get any uh, money from any publisher or any um, uh, journals, okay, but as a librarian, I can see that this is a good paper. It's just that maybe there are maybe one or two points that you should uh, check before you retract, retract the whole article. So, okay, where do you publish? Uh, as uh, Dr. Rudy asked me just now, okay, uh, you can publish in the primary scientific publications. Huh? So, uh, for example, uh, I saw that in UM Expert Notes, huh? notes. actually notes is an a, is a, is a article. article. It's a one type of uh, article. So you can uh, publish your 
articles uh, they are the people yang will tell you whether it's a it's a notes or a review a paper you know sometimes you 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 do not understand this you have to understand what is a review paper what is a journal articles uh, what is a newspaper article before you submit into a uh, different type of scientific uh, uh, journals huh? so what are those things uh, as I, i have here uh, book chapters uh, compilation of articles there are monograph there are technical reports any uh, nama nama lah yeah, these are names uh, names or types of uh, primary scientific publication where you can publish generally okay generally okay okay um uh, i have um taken this actually from uh, an article yeah, in nature.com yeah the articles uh, with that uh, https yeah. you can check this yeah. why predatory articles are a global threat mm -hmm. they accept anything yeah, for articles in fact uh, we have uh, one paper if i have it here i'm not sure you know sometimes you just write uh, nonsense you know but because they need papers so they will publish your paper if you are willing to pay to them so uh, of course it's a global threat right for example we have a covid-19 situation pandemic at the moment and you are writing for example a nonsense paper about uh, covid-19 uh, a fake paper sort of you know so these are re read by billions of victims you know for example uh, you are telling them look uh, uh, this is a good uh, um, a treatment for covid for example you know? so you write good papers on that but you you know you fake certain things so so imagine to knife uh, uh, readers no they are not only the victims you know but you know they might die because of that paper that you have submitted okay all right now it's 11:20 um okay there are so many yeah? for example i have uh, here one study uh, that focus on uh, in italy alone you know out of 46000 researchers in italy 5% of them are publishing in these outlets. Uh, imagine, uh, so they have collected millions of dollars uh, in terms of fees uh, that's supposed to be uh, paid out to funders such as US National Institute of Health. Uh. So it's really, really global threat. Uh, I think. Uh. Okay, some guide I like to share. Uh, you know, these are the guide that you can uh, check. Uh, how you can match to online journal of topics, you know, originality, and you know, the literature review, and so on, so forth. Yeah? So uh, this is like uh, the IMRAT. Uh, IMRAT, yeah? IMRAT is a short form for uh, introduction, uh, methodology, uh, uh, findings, uh, research finding, or research design, uh, and also the reference. Uh. So IMRAT is good if you can have uh, as a template. No? So that one I can uh, share uh, later on, maybe. Okay, uh, some criteria. Yeah, okay, these are some of the criteria selecting journals for publication. Uh, again and again, I mentioned about impact factor. Okay, perhaps that is good, but not necessarily. Okay, you saw like 60, you wanted to submit to an uh, impact factor of a 60 journal. No? Uh, please don't do that. You know, sometimes zero point one impact factor is good for you as a early career researcher so what are the peer review processes you have to understand that uh, there must be one there must be a process done and there must be uh, a page uh, sharing about the process the right of the authors must be mentioned there what is the business model and so on so forth and of course i will share uh, some deliberations of that criteria in one uh, there are 10 actually, yeah. The factor, why, why this is important, yeah. So, why it's important because uh, usually uh, those paper, those journal with impact factor are, you know, uh, the trademark of the WS or Clarivate Analytics. So, those journals with impact factors are always showing they are good journals or good uh, public publisher you know so when you saw that impact factor of course it's good but uh, then you have to uh, check next uh, criteria the peer review process now. so because peer review process is important to maintain the quality of any articles or journals 
So high quality articles need a good reputation or reput uh, reputed um, experts. Eh? So you have to understand and read. Uh, sometimes they, they give you a list of um, uh, a list of editorials, uh, people eh, that inside there. So please read through. Are they in their um, scope? For example, if they are researcher, they are a researcher or expert in social science, but they are peer reviewing a forestry journal, for example. Of course, there's a, oh, I think there's something wrong here. Yeah? So you say, okay, I might not want to go into this. This is wrong. So you look into those kind of pointers uh, before you submit your paper, okay? Number two. Number three, the right of authors. Okay, there are a lot of things uh, if you talk about the right of authors, you know, there should be like a 30 minutes kind of discussion on this alone, you know. When you talk about whom are the authors that you should uh, invite into writing together, you know. Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, sometimes, okay, uh, I can't remember one, but uh, along the years that I have checked, there are, there are, there are quite a number of uh, journals that they do not... Uh, um, invite um, <laughs> different uh, uh, subject expert in a different subject uh, journals. So, um, for example, authors also have to do the same. For example, you wanted to collaborate um, your paper or your study with, for example, I am a science, uh, social science uh, researcher, uh, um, librarianship. Suddenly, I wanted to write a paper with uh, another, um, for example, forestry uh, professor, for example. What is the topic of that uh, article? For example, is it anything to do with uh, librarianship in a forest or forestry librarianship? If it does, then maybe you, you will allow that, uh, to, uh, that author to be invited to write together. You know? Because substantiality of that content must come from both of you, you know, if you have two authors. If you have more, the further you have to deliberate more. So, uh, sub substantiality of the content must come from all the authors. Imagine if the title is about librarianship, there's nothing to do with forestry, and yet you have invited expertise in uh, forestry to write together. So, that agreement, sometimes it will relate, you know, uh, uh, you know, to, to say that, to, to tell them that, okay, I do not want this author. Can you drop this author? You know, so they will tell you that, you know. And this is a mention uh, in the policy of that journals or publisher. So not inviting uh, two authors writing one paper about uh, one subject only. Uh, so that is what I mean. You know? It must be an uh, integrated subject. It has to be one. If you are inviting two different uh, subject field experts, okay? Number three, uh, this is the business model. It's a lot of things that relate to the course, you know, that uh, you shouldn't be surprised with the course. You know? So, for example, uh, if your sponsors mention, some, some uh, journals mention that uh, the grant uh, giver from, for example, uh, European Commission uh, uh, endorse these uh, journals, for example, they will mention that, you yeah? So, if it's stated there, perhaps you can uh, ask your uh, grant giver that you, that your your grant is in um, the in a safe hand, okay? Because you're submitting to that journal, okay? A reputation. Uh, this is a lot of ver uh, parameters that includes uh, in the reputation. You know, the number of people that uh, knows about the journal. For example, I mean, I should about the society. For example, uh, Raiba, yeah, Raiba. For example, Raiba, you know, only endorse certain journals, for example. Maybe that should be discussed. Huh? So Raiba says, oh, this is not a good journal, this is a good journal. So those are the parameters that we could uh, deliberate uh, with your grant givers, okay? Indexing, uh, so I mentioned just now, you know, some of the uh, database that, you know, uh, index your journals, that is uh, CINAHL in the med medicine, the Medline, the MBase, and also, of course, the safest is to be in the Scopus um, list. There are about 22,000 uh, journals in there. Uh, UM alone is uh, subscribing to about 200 plus uh, titles. So perhaps 
you can check with us if those 200 journals are in the list or in the scop scopes of your, paper, of your study. So we can advise you that you can submit to these 200 plus uh, journals or to about 22,000 other journals, you know. So please do not go out from these 22 plus plus journals or that 200 journals uh, so that you are not um, tricked or duped or scammed, okay? So to be safe, uh, check with us first, all right? Other than that, uh, the scope. Uh, again, I mentioned just now, it's about the scope, the information that you have uh, in the publishing of the manuscript. Ensure that there is the aim of it is in the line similar to your research a grant giver to your institutions, you know, because it will come back to the institution, you know. Sometimes, you know, when you publish into uh, predatory journals or the non-impact factor journals, you know, the institution will get nothing, you know, not, not much from you. You know, it, it, um, imagine that you are paid uh, as, a, as a researcher, you are paid as a um, professor, you know, and the fact that you are publishing or submitting to fake uh, predators uh, or publishers. No? So it lost a lot to this uh, institution, to our university and to the government of Malaysia. You know? Okay. Uh, there are also about ethics. Huh? So please also double check your ethics. Uh, good journals also concerned about data and conclusion and manipulation. For example, I like also to uh, make you aware that uh, the that we are looking into open science platform yeah, for, for the next, um, I mean, by today we should understand that there are platform for open science uh, studies uh, papers, okay? Please um, share with us all your data. Why I said that, you know, because sometimes uh, your data can save life, you know? So this data that you have, uh, you know, uh, collected, you know, from a reputable and experts, you know, uh, is uh, lying somewhere which is not shared uh, with, with uh, the community outside your uh, university or outside the outside Malaysia. So if you can uh, tell us, you know, that you are uh, having a lot of data, for example, samples of blood, uh, blood samples, for example, uh, you have uh, samples from these, uh, you know, uh, whatever samples that you have, this is a good thing that can be concluded in the uh, in the metadata. So when you publish this study, uh, everyone knows that there is data that we can check, you know, and, uh, and use. Uh, so that of course it will uh, best practice will of course save a lot of time and money. Huh? Um, Okay, instruction for uh, authors. Now, you should read and understand the author guidelines. And sometimes, for example, if I, I think this is a quite uh, prevalent among the top universities that they also have their own author guidelines. Yeah? Uh, for example, Oxford, Cambridge, they have their own author guidelines. I think UM, not I think, UM has one. So follow that uh, author guidelines and whether this is... Um, uh, in sync or, you know, uh, in favor or friendly with your journal that you are targeting. So some requirements, uh, you know, uh, must be friendly with the author guidelines of the university and also with the journals that you have. For example, the word count, the images that you can submit, you know, the pages, number of pages, you know. So usually the, the rule of thumb is uh, um, 10 pages, you know, with 10 pages, you can... Um, have about uh, 10 to 15 uh, references and maybe uh, maximum five authors and you have a good uh, reading of about uh, 300, uh, 250 to 300 uh, abstracts. Yeah? And of course, the uh, whatever that you wanted to highlight, for example, the methodology, which is uh, really, really uh, important for you to share. So the methodology need to have more uh, words, so maybe you should have uh, less uh, words on the conclusion, for example. So those are the things that you should balance. Yeah? Uh, so the word count. Yeah? Sometimes, you know, uh, uh, I have one uh, sharing from the Scopus uh, people, yeah? this, these publishers. Yeah? So I asked them, actually, how many percent of papers per year 
that uh, you publish uh, in a year, for example. No? So you have, for example, a hundred papers, no, hundred hundred percent of papers. About twenty percent is published into this uh, good uh, uh, journals or publishers. Okay, twenty percent. The rest will go to um, whatever you know. Sometimes they are not even uh, reviewed. No? So for you to um, have uh, yourself into this 20% of uh, papers, you know, selected to be read or be reviewed by these uh, journals, you know, you need to have, uh, you need to read really, really and understand the author guidelines. Because, for example, uh, you have, they wanted you to publish uh, um, 3,000 uh, words only, but you publish uh, more than that, for example. So, Automatically, um, the publisher will, you know, send that paper back, or you know, if they they saw it's a good uh, uh, study, they might want to tell you that please uh, edit or you know, uh, adhere to the word count, you know, so things like that. Uh, that's why uh, when I mentioned to you, when I sent in ten pages uh, of my uh, first paper to a journal, you know, they come back with two twenty pages. Because they insert a lot of, uh, you know, uh, please do this, you know, don't do that, you know, things like that. And of course, you are so happy, you know. And uh, I think um, when I submitted that paper, you know, it's a Q1 paper. So, of course, you are happy because you got a lot of uh, uh, help, you know, from that uh, journal. Okay. All right. Uh, editors. Uh, so I mentioned again, editors, again and again, please check the credibility of that uh, editors. Okay. Uh, you, if you need uh, more information, please do not uh, hesitate. Uh, ask eh, your, uh, the journal that you can communicate, communicate with your editors or who are these editors. Ask the name and position. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you know, because I've done this uh, for about uh, 10 uh, journals in Scopus, you know, because as librarian is part of our training, you know, to do bibliometrics uh, papers, you know. So I've submitted uh, three papers uh, to, uh, to my supervisors, you know, when you do every subject, you know. Even though I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in a social science, so, you know, I do also bibliometrics uh, in cancer studies, you know, in uh, other 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 uh, other other scopes other subject area. So for us, uh, uh, when we do some checking, these editors of, uh, for example, uh, in my ten journals that I have checked uh, when I do my uh, when I did my bibliometric study, you know, they duplicates. Okay, uh, this is not not good. It shows that you know the same people. The same position, the same contact numbers are used, uh, for example, more than five times, you know. Out of ten, I have five of their names in the ten, uh, uh, in the ten journals. So that is not good, you know. So these are findings that I have, uh, uh, you know, uh, I have found uh, during uh, my uh, training as librarian, you know. So in that uh, findings, I could see that, you know, some names and position and contact uh, when you got this from the editors, you know, they might not know that they are, they are check, you are checking on them actually. So if you need this type of information, please ask from the chief editor also. That's why I mentioned again, uh, you know, you have to double check your publishers. For example, IG, uh, uh, IG Global uh, uh, is really good publisher, for example, because they will give you all these name, position, and contact you know, numbers uh, to you when you ask them. You know? Okay, uh, I just like to highlight this. You know, these are a lot of questions uh, coming from the authors from UM. Yeah? Um, because of the UM expert, yeah? UM experts, uh, I think we do not um, own UM expert now. We are only part partners yeah, in the UM expert. There are other people in the UM expert partners. We are partnering with uh, uh, Bahagian Sumber uh, Manusia, uh, the uh, pendaftar, uh, the registrar. We are also partnering with PTM, uh, uh, the technology people, 
course uh, with of course the I triple P people and we librarians. Okay, what do we do actually? Librarians only check things from Clarivert Analytics. One, two, we check from the Scopus. Whatever that is uh, shared or known in this Clarivert Analytics sphere, you know the this whole thing of web of science, you know, core collection, whatever. So we check with that. Yeah. Uh, if it's match, you know, sometimes it's a match casing kind of uh, um, exercise. You no, know? we ma case matching. Yeah. The 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 title must match. The author must match. If those everything match hundred percent, so we say, oh, this is okay. So we okay then. You know, sometimes say, oh, kenapa library? You know, why librarians uh, did not uh, allow this paper to be indexed, to be uh, known, to be uh, indexed by UM expert, for example? Uh, why is not uh, appearing in my uh, KPI? So those kind of questions, you know. So we do a lot of checking when some kind, uh, sometimes the checking is not matching, you know, for example. So we have to tell them, oh, this doesn't match. That doesn't match, you know. So uh, those patchings, uh, uh, perhaps we will look at our site lah first. Uh, kesalahan di pihak kami dulu, you know. Uh, we might say that oh, the librarians wrongly check. Okay, sorry for that, you know. But it's not us that you know contrib uh, not contribute. Eh? It's not the library that uh, uh, has the index or own the index. You know, is Scopus is Clarivert Analytics. Okay. <laughs> I like to uh, you know, retreat this uh, again and again. You know, sometimes you you uh, forgot that you know. So, so be aware, you know, that librarians are not the experts here. We are checking, you know, match casing uh, everything from the experts who are these uh, experts from the Clarivet Analytics and also from the Scopus. Okay. Uh, I like to share this uh, thing uh, when we double check. I think uh, this is uh, done by our librarians from the team uh, for the UM expert teams. Yeah? Uh, we do all this checking. Yeah? We do the initial triage. We do the, the editorial tri triage. We did the editorial evaluation. You know, when everything is successful, uh, then we check uh, everything is okay. So uh, we say that, uh, okay, this is good. Yeah? We can forward. Uh, uh, into the KPI, um, uh, some sort of um, numbers lah kan. KPI itu macam apa? Macam number lah kan? Macam bilangan. Is uh, whatever you have submitted, it should uh, come out as a KPI lah. So, for example, there is a there is a, a checking. For example, for FGM expert, for for the publisher, you know, if there is a, a checking, for example, there is a ISSN, the journal title, the journal publisher, and we check with the uh, scholarly content, uh, you know, there is clarity of language, uh, timeliness, uh, you know, everything, you know, and then we check also the editorial board, everything is okay, there is a successful matching, there is successful uh, criteria is uh, adhered to, and of course, uh, there is, uh, is this a successful outcome, huh? So it enters ESCI, you know. This is done by us, also by ESCI, you know. So um, uh, I think uh, if we if we fail, uh, for example, if we fail, you know, for us for us to fail in terms of checking, of course, it's a humanly possible lah, that we uh, that we fail to uh, to check, you know. So. Um, the author affiliation details, for example, you know, sometimes uh, the author names, yeah, the affiliation, University Malaya spelled as University T-I-T-Y, University of Malaya, University Malaysia also belong to University Malaya. So something, things like that, we have to double check with other criteria, you know. So uh, uh, even if it's in your M expert, there is a problem, there is an issue. For example, we, uh, I'm blaming myself, the librarians. The, the library in us failed to check. 
For example, auto inflation dah correct dah betul dah ni. It's okay, for example. But um, but uh, nothing should be wrong with the with the uh, tariff analytics, you know? So if we are wrong, I think uh, well, we should be we should be blamed. We should be rotan lah, kan? Everybody should be angry with us, kan? But if it's uh, that we have double check, and for example, we have done all the due uh, checking, still there is a fail uh, initial try rate. Right? So resubmission yeah, for the level of uh, private analytics or scopus, you know, there is a resubmission. They, they are welcoming resubmission. Yeah? So uh, all this quality must be checked or double checked. You know? That's why, but some, somehow, however, uh, author affiliation sometimes they overlook again again and again you know so uh, the librarians in us on all of the librarians that involved with the um expert team uh, will tell that will do that you know and tell scopus or wos to do the uh, referrals or we call it a cross ref uh, author affiliation details checking so we will say that uh, University Malaysia equals to University of Malaya, University Malaya, for example. So we equals to that three. Even though you have done it wrongly, the author, yeah, you are authors, so tersilap lah. Sometimes it's always mistakes there. But we, when we check all the rest, it's correct. So we say, okay, it's successful outcomes lah. Huh? So we check your KPI, okay? You have you got one paper, right? Uh, if you're angry, still angry with us, you can email me lah. <laughs> uh, always uh, there's a problem with the checking. Eh? Sometimes uh, mata kan tak dah kabur. <laughs> okay, other than that, uh, the okay. Sometimes uh, this is the uh, email solicitation solicitation warning signs eh, from the publisher. I like to uh, highlight this lah, you know. Uh, the archaic salutation. For example, now you're already a professor, uh, doctor, something. Eh? Uh, you have also TS there in your name. Suddenly, they, they address you as uh, your, for example, just doctor or just your name. Yeah? Uh, so the salutation is archaic, archaic lah, because they should uh, salute you as professor, doctor, ABC, yeah? instead of just uh, without doctor. You know? That is one. Uh, number two, the hyperbolic language in the email, for example, is going round and round and round and telling them, or telling, for example, it's a, I think uh, the linguists uh, among us will know that. Hmm? So, uh, check those, yeah? poor grammars and misspelling. I, I did some here, if you can uh, uh, check some of my uh, spellings and grammar also are wrong here. So, if you are a good uh, uh, writer, you can sense that, yeah. So inconsistency in terms of your grammar. I was told by one of my supervisors, you know, you know, for example, it, whether they can read, you know, your your paper if you are plagiarizing from other people or you're faking your 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 sentence, for example, uh, you are always using American uh, lang uh, language uh, or grammar. Suddenly you switch totally to English, for example. So they can sense, you know. The linguists uh, among us will sense that. Say, for example, uh, the labor spelling, yeah, or labor, L A B O R or L A B O U R. Yeah, for example, you know, those are the, uh, for example, points that you can see from the uh, the email solicitation. You know, or also, also from yourself, no, you know, from your friends or from your uh, from your supervisors or from your um, co-authors. Yeah? And excessive use of exclamation marks. Uh, nowadays, people uh, use WhatsApp, for example. Uh, they do not want to ask what happened. They just put there many, many, you know, question marks, you know. You rasa rimas lah, you know, reading a lot of WhatsApp with a lot of question marks. Why, 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 you know. So, what is it that you wanted to ask me? Whether you are, you are not happy with me, please put a, 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 a word there, you know. But it's just like, lot of uh, marks of exclamation, you know? uh, a lot of uh, all that kind of marks that you use in the email. So those are pointers that you could look into when you get uh, solicitation, solicitation email. Huh? 
So the journal and scope, again and again, I have to remind you, you know, uh, as early uh, researcher, you know, I have one example, yeah? one friend of mine, yeah? this is about 20 years ago, yeah? she came back from uh, UK, she said uh, she is a scholar from UM, okay, I, I'm not, uh, I can't remember her name now. Uh, she submitted to a, a predatory, okay, but she could not uh, uh, relieve herself. You know, she got, could not free herself from that, and she got she could she uh, have to pay about three thousand US dollar, and she has no money and things like that. You know, because you're a lead researcher, you know, this thing happened. Okay, we have many many of these stories happening again and again. So any promises of uh, swift review, immediate conference abstract acceptance, uh, jangan percaya, ya. please do not believe on that. <coughs> so uh, inconsistency, a lot of things, uh, they, they mention about waiver, uh, things like that. So double check yeah, or triple check or check, double check, triple check with your supervisor or your friends. Okay. Huh. Um, there are about six uh, these are uh, given to me by uh, Scopus, uh, yeah, by Elsevier actually. Elsevier gave me this. Uh, how they select uh, the, the papers. Uh? So, uh, for example, editorial section, review processes, publishing, and the announcement. Yeah? How, how do you, how do you, uh, the weightage, yeah, for example, you know, some of the weightage uh, of publication yeah? if you have a new research some of the tools. Eh? So a well-selected journal will be respected by your peers, will increase your chances of citation, eh? so, as I mentioned earlier, help you to improve your academic CV. Uh, so um, it's quite difficult actually to have a worthy publisher, to have uh, your worthy uh, papers to be sent to a worthy publications, but uh, all these pointers and, uh, and uh, selection steps uh, needed. Eh? So I will share these slides uh, later with you. Okay, you can come and meet me in my room you know, anytime. You just set a date and you can check on this. Okay, uh, uh, what are these things? Yeah, um, journal has uh, at least um, six things. Uh, these are shared by Martin Zomanis yeah, in his uh, slides uh, in peer recognized.com journals, yeah, journals. So uh, again and again, he mentioned about what we have, uh, what I have uh, reiterated earlier, but we have deliberated earlier. Uh, they men he mentioned about scope, he mentioned about ranking and recognition, he mentioned about publishing time, he mentioned about acceptance rates, you know, of your papers among your peers, you know, the content requirements, access and fees, you know. So if you understand all this, so I think you are safe, you know, it's safe enough, you know. Uh, because without all this, so your papers could be um, into the hands of the predators. Hmm? Um, the rest, I think I will share later if you have questions. Okay. The number of, uh, since 2014, because why I, I have this uh, benchmark of 2014 to 20, until 2020, you know? the fakers, you know, the scammers, you know, keep on increasing, you know. So they continue to be a serious threat to the scholarly communication ecosystem. So uh, imagine, yeah, by comparison, we have like 2 million papers index. Uh, so there are about 5 to 10% uh, in the fixed uh, journal. So it's really, really um, disheartening, you know, tiring. You know? Uh, as librarian also, uh, we have... Uh, not to say that we are tired of telling all this, you know, but sometimes, you know, these fakers, these uh, predators, you know, keep on lebih uh, canggih lah every day, you know. They will have all those points that we have uh, uh, put in, all the 10 points, for example, and uh, they don't appear like fake. You know? They don't appear like fake. So, so you have to be more careful in the years to come, you know. So you keep on, uh, they keep on becoming better and better as fakers and scammers. So we need to become better and better in terms of uh, choosing our uh, publisher or journals that we wanted to publish. So as um, one question just now, to be safe, you have to submit to 
Scopus or WS uh, publishes, published journals, okay? So um, these are some findings I'd like to share, perhaps. Uh, uh, countries from Amer Africa or, or Asia, you know, we are, we are publishing a lot you know, with these um, figures, you know, because maybe our English, you know, maybe we do not read enough of their email. You know? The solicitation email is so good uh, and so nice and uh, we are fake or trick to submit uh, our papers into this. You know? So there is a 3D Google map actually, I forgot to include in here. So if you can check actually uh, the PO box, you know, uh, of the result uh, that, uh, uh, for example, if it's uh, published in uh, US, sometimes they told us or the predators has a published uh, location in uh, address somewhere in US. But actually, when we check that uh, address actually is in Africa or somewhere in Asia. Okay. <laughs> Okay, beware again, here are for the authors, uh, you know, uh, the figure describes the regional distribution of about 262 uh, sample corresponding authors, which is done by this uh, guy from the bmcmedicine.biomedicalcentral.com. It's an article in there, you can check, you know, uh, highly skewed to Asia and Africa. Imagine that coming from us, we are sending a lot you know, to the fakers and scammers, no? And uh, the, the highest is from uh, in India, followed by Nigeria. And I think uh, Malaysia was, uh, uh, we have uh, listed somewhere number five or number six in the world, uh, top fakers. Uh, not fakers, lah, you know, I can see that they are, they are, they are uh, you know, um, but sometimes we are tricked you know, to send it to these um, publishers. Okay. All right. Um, what are the next things that uh, I like to share? Okay. I mentioned just now that there are about 300,000 uh, papers uh, published uh, yearly. Okay. Where do I get this? It's from the Irish International Periodical Directory. Yeah? Actually, since 1932 until today, they are keeping this uh, data, you know, so they have, uh, I have this uh, cover page one of the Irish in, published in 2002. Previously, the libraries will have to buy this, okay? Now we don't need to because uh, it's already online yeah? and it's free. You can check these journals using Irish online, uh, by online and it's free, you know? So, um, for example, uh, you can check any periodicals, you know, uh, whether they are fake or not, based on their ISSN and also their titles, yeah, from uh, Rich. Okay. Uh, what I'm trying to have uh, here, shared here, is uh, okay. Um, all right. Uh, what else? Uh, I'm repeating again uh, some of the indexes okay some also the indicators uh, i have uh, again and again so that we do not forget all right uh, what is the rich knowledge base knowledge base platform uh, okay so it's uh, the authoritative source of bibliographic and publisher information uh, for more than 300,000 periodicals of all types of academic and scholarly journals uh. okay they are also in the open access publication peer reviewed titles popular magazine newspapers, newsletters, and many, many more type of uh, publications yeah, around the world. So this is how we check. If you like to know more about this, we can uh, teach you how to check this. Huh? All right. Okay, there's uh, some of the uh, things that uh, for uh, 10 publishing ethics takes. Huh? So declare to your chosen journal that your manuscript is not published elsewhere. Declare any conflicts of interest. For example, if you have, you are the, uh, for example, you are the um, uh, number one author, for example, or you are the um, editor of that journal. So you have to tell that, okay? Check all authors meet the criteria of authorship and ensure the appropriate you know, acknowledgement made in manuscript, yeah? the, in the manuscript. Sometimes you forget that, you know, you have uh, 
ask your technician, for example, and your technician have uh, corrected your statements, for example. So, so those acknowledgements should be put in your manuscript, okay, in your articles. Hmm? So include those uh, statements in the manuscript and show some informed consent. For example, you have uh, taken the photograph from uh, your friend's slides, for example, uh, slides of uh, the sample of uh, blood slides, for example. So, and you have to tell that this was taken from my friend, ABC and things like that. Yeah? So again, uh, you have to register your clinical trials uh, of if you are in the medical. Uh, yeah? So if you're using animals, for example, I have one uh, project you know, done by uh, UITM, you know, how they use animals you know, for uh, whatever uh, things. And these animals was treated um, not so good, for example. You know? So these are the things that you, you could tell that, you know, for example, the animals was kept three days uh, without food, for example. So these are, you, know, you have to explain this. So that uh, the user, uh, the reader knows you have uh, uh, done according uh, checking, you know, that your animals are actually, uh, uh, you know, in a good shape you know, to be used as clinical trial, you know, or uh, test, uh, things like that, yeah. And be alert to bias and follow guidance to accurate a complete reporting of research and inform the journal you subsequently find errors in your research and please sign the copyright agreement. There's a lot to do actually, but... Uh, usually, when you have done this uh, twice or three times, you are okay with it. Uh, you know, you don't feel so um, um, cumbersome. Yeah? Okay. What else uh, I like to share? I think uh, uh, the honors uh, publishing scope. Uh, you can read this. Okay, on your own. Um, what are the uh, problems? Uh, as I can mention earlier. They are not rigorous. Uh, rigorous in terms of checking your uh, findings, checking your uh, your manuscripts. Okay, all right. Um, what is scam? I, I have those things. Uh, yeah, just in case I forgot to mention. Actually, my slide is uh, quite repetitive. Uh, if you are if you're aware of this, you know, again and again, I like to increase the awareness. You know, of uh, your uh, where your, your understanding. You know, sometimes my uh, my English or my language, uh, you do not understand my English or my language. You know, I keep repeating. Why I keep repeating? Because I want you to be aware. You know? So uh, some kind of uh, exploitation is done or you know, uh, uh, why these people are still existing. Of course, it's about money. Okay, Again and again, they wanted your money. You know? So uh, some differences between predatory journals and some serious journals, you know. So um, predatory journals, uh, they will scam you with email. They will scam you with, if you have your uh, um, uh, phone number, they will call you, for example. You know? If they know your, your website, uh, your blogs, they will send to your blog too. Okay? They will do everything to, to, to ask you to submit your papers. Okay, okay uh, again, um, it's like when you wanted to go for a swim you know, in the ocean. You know? uh, so there is a sign there, you know, the shark sighted today. You know, even though there's only one, or maybe it's not even shark, you know, people, people saw something like a whitish uh, somewhere in the ocean, you know. So you, you will know that hey, people are telling you that well, there is a shark today. So don't go that into to that water, eh? because if you enter that water today, you is it's at your own risk. And the risk is a lot of your tenureship, your uh, professorship, your your papers, your citation. So uh, do this again and again. Think, check before you submit. Okay. Uh, always check thoroughly. Always do the editorial uh, checking. Take a look again and again. I think I'm, I'm, I'm becoming like a, a nene here, you know. Keep repeating same thing again and again. Okay. All right. Uh, so this is somehow uh, one of the author do the checking, you know. Does the, the journal follow the cook? Uh, code for publisher. This is for the open access. No? So if you wanted to do some kind of checking, maybe you can go to this uh, check. No? So I think I've uh, done my hours. It's only 12. Um, there's a lot of things uh, 
Again, this is all uh, things that I, I like to share with you. If you want the slides, uh, I'm happy to share. Okay, some samples of uh, titles, you know. Uh, there are thousands uh, of, uh, of these titles, you know, duplicates, yeah. Uh, the same type, the same titles, duplicates. Some one of them is not uh, is a good journal. Another one is a fake journal. Okay, things like that. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, this is some conclusion that I like to share. Publishing in journals that are not reputable can diminish your credibility of your research. Okay, uh, I think uh, librarians can help here. So please uh, ask us uh, again and again. It's okay. You can just text us. You can just email us. You know, so uh, last but not least, uh, yeah, thanks for attending or listening to this, uh, um, or whatever webinar or <laughs> share of slides or ideas. No, some of it uh, you might not want to see it now, but you know, due to the need for you to become a good professor, thus you know you have to. Uh, uh, I have to tell you that you know to be a good uh, professor is not uh, easy. You know? So even eminent scientists uh, make mistakes. Uh, so and one of the great things uh, about the ethos of science is that it cares about the truth. You know, we care about the truth. The librarian cares about the truth. That's why you pay a lot of money. You know, uh, to buy the good papers. You know, to buy the good publishers. So you do not go to Sci-Hub. You do not go to uh, Meta Mega Upload. You, know? you do not go to Library.nu. So. Please use uh, our online databases that we have subscribed to. So it's uh, you know, not the reputation of those pursuing it. You know? So about, it's about the truth. It's not about you, but uh, us alone. It's not about reputation of you. It's about the that we care about the truth first and foremost. All right. With that, I end my um, uh, whatever <laughs> discussion here, sharing here. Thank you very much. Over to you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, Dr. Kasia. Uh, okay, thank you so much, Dr. Kasia, for your incredible sharing. Uh, before we end this session, uh, does anyone have any more questions to ask? You can unmute yourself or put in the chat box. Uh, I think Dr. Aisha asked if they can have the slides. Okay, Adida Muhammad Amin to everyone. Adida is one of the librarians you can okay. go to and ask. Mm -hmm. It has, of course, it has a very high requirement. So, but um, this high requirement will show you a good quality product. So I think uh, whether you like it or not, you have to uh, adhere to that requirement. So, uh, as mentioned by Adi Daniel, the chances of the predatory journals or being listed in the WOS is, um, I think the uh, percentage is about zero to one percent. Maybe none, yeah, none at all. Of, of course, that sometimes we make mistakes. You know, our people make mistakes, but uh, that's why we say uh, the first question uh, actually uh, reiterated well, and uh, I think Adida also mentioned well. So we have this kind of uh, uh, notes or the panggil apa ya? As we go along in life, you know, we need people to remind us again and again. Okay, that's my take. Okay, Prof Kamarul Zaman Juso. Uh, okay, thank you, Prof, for being here today with us. So I think uh, Prof Kamarul Zaman Juso is the best person in UM or in Malaysia. I think uh, yet that you should uh, go to and uh, you know. Uh, he can uh, guide you, you know, to uh, many, many things, good things, you know. So I think uh, other than uh, asking us, perhaps uh, you can also ask uh, Prof, uh, because he is very busy, uh, you know, but uh, you can check us first, you know. There are things that we can tell you before you meet uh, Prof Kamar Zaman, you know. So, uh, all right, uh, he is asking this question. We have cases in UM where stuff get published in fake. Uh, this is our available in the UM expert. Any reason to this happen? Yeah. Uh, as I mentioned again, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, the, solicit the solicitation emails is really, really good. You know, sometimes you are tricked to submit your papers. You know? Perhaps this thing happens, you know. 
So uh, um, for us librarian, maybe we are not so uh, visible enough, you know, to tell them that you know, look, uh, tell us, ask us, and uh, we might guide you to you know to other good people such as Prof Kawan Zaman, you know, and other people that uh, the supervisors and things like that, you know. So this happened, yeah, Prof. Uh, so I think your question um, is good for us to share uh, that everyone make mistake, you know. So um, these mistakes, um, some can be um, um, undone, yeah. Some some cannot be undone. Yeah? Sometimes uh, most of it cannot be done. Um, cannot be. It's already in the fake uh, journal. So what can we do, yeah? But I think the librarians uh, should be, I think, uh, verifying list. I think verifying list, uh, we always check, double check with Scopus and WS. You know? I think uh, if we are wrong in checking those, uh, perhaps we are wrong as a human uh, subject. Right? But I think uh, as Adida mentioned again, or, and I reiterated that again and again, whatever we check with uh, Scopus and WS, we match case those uh, uh, criteria as I mentioned the triage and things like that so if there is a miss in that triage uh, checking perhaps this happen uh, bro. Uh, this can happen and many times uh, it can happen there are lots of reasons I might not have uh, the answer for all today but uh, thank you um, I hope we together as a community in uh, UM uh, help each other you know uh, the librarians are here to check uh, Scopus WS, but if the verifying result is not correct, perhaps uh, you can also ask your supervisors. Uh, you can check also, of course, with Prof uh, Kamu Zaman eh, because he is our best person in uh, UM to to, uh, to answer your question about this. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Garcia. Um, Thank you for the uh, sharing session. I hope we all learn something from it, especially to avoid ourselves to become, to publish in predatory journals. Okay, um, before we end the session, can we have a group photo? Uh, I would also like to uh, promote another webinar by library by uh, Madam Ko um, on H index what it is and what does it mean. It will be on the 10th of December, which is next Friday. I sent the details in the uh, chat box. And also please fill in the feedback form. Thank you. Okay. Let's take a quick group photo. Ready, everyone? Okay, Jaya. Um, okay. One, two. Sorry. One, two, three. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, if any mistakes that I've made, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I hope I can uh, see everyone again. If there are points that I have uh, shared which is wrong or fakes. <laughs> so I think uh, that's uh, me as, uh, uh, um, um, you know, I like to tell you that I'm so sorry. If there is anything that I could uh, check again with you, yeah, please email me anytime. Thank you very much. Subhanakallah wa bihamdika. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Assalamualaikum. Assalam. Thank you. Thank you Adak. <laughs> Thank you Dr. Thank you very much.